Hey, hey, y'all, Jeremy James here, the Bourbon Realtor, coming at you for another Whiskey Wednesday on Barstools and Bourbon. Today, we're gonna be hitting up the new release of Rabbit Holes Barrel Proof. Absolutely gorgeous labels. These are super exclusive. This one is 134 out of 210. It's coming in at a respectable 102.76 proof. So really nice, caught this one at Liquor Barn. So these were, um, originally they were get them only at the distillery on one day and they pretty much sold out within no time at all. Um, they're starting to make their way around and I'm doing this one today because we are memorializing my father this week and he is the king. Um, so we're gonna be taking a trip up there and also wanted to show off a little bit um, my challenge coin uh, from the Staven Thief Society. I actually said that correctly this time, which is incredible. Um, this is awarded to all those who pass the Executive Bourbon Steward course and exam. Um, absolutely thrilled to have this. If you see me out and about, make sure I've got it on me. Uh, any, any Executive Bourbon Stewards out there know uh, what it means if I don't. Um, so really glad to have it it was a wonderful experience to be able to share with the folks over at moonshine U in louisville so most of you are familiar by now with rabbit holes high gold their original high gold it comes in at uh, 95 proof and the uh, mash bill on it is um, 70 percent corn 25 percent rye and um, a modest five percent malted barley so this um, the barrel proof high gold obviously is no different um, on that, but it comes in a little bit higher proof. So let's get a cork pop on this. Nice hearty cork pop. I honestly like this bottle better uh, than the standard high gold and the standard rabbit hole bottles. They tend to be a little tall center of balance gets a little high on it and they get a little wobbly i like this one it's a little bit shorter um, but very nice still so it is four years and one month in barrel which is exactly what I look for. So it's a, basically a little over a bottled and bond. Um, <sighs> nose smells great on it. Color, it's a, it's a probably a honey in color. Good clarity. Legs cling to the to the glass well, and I know there's a lot of debate about legs and all that kind of stuff. What it does tell you is about viscosity. Um, of the bourbon, it's not gonna tell you how it tastes. It's not gonna tell you much else other than viscosity. Might be a little bit of mouthfeel uh, in there. Color, obviously you eat with your eyes before you ever taste it with your mouth. So I like to enjoy it with my eyes, take a look at it. I'll sit there and roll a, um, a bourbon around in my glass quite a bit before I ever take my first sniff or um, even a sip off it. But this looks good, it looks good. It's a lot like the standard high gold. It's a, just that light honey color, it's pretty nice. So let's go in on the nose. Right away, I'm getting that corn. Uh, you can definitely tell the corn is in there. Four years old, 70% corn. It's got that, that sweetness, that richness with it. And that's followed up by the those caramel noses, um, caramel noses, caramel notes, if you will. and then some of that rye grain kind of backing it all up. There's a little bit of chocolatiness, chocolatiness to this. I can't even speak today. I don't know what's going on. It smells nice. I like it. All right, bourbon's meant to be drank, y'all. Let's take a sip. So straight away, it's very sweet on the palate. Getting a nice Kentucky hug. It has a little bit of that youth to it, as you can tell with a four-year-old. Kind of bright, not sharp, but just a little bit 
prickly of a mouthfeel. It's not super smooth. Some nice oak coming out of this now. That was like butterscotch and toasted sugar right there. That that creme brulee, um, right on the right on the tongue. Not the not the creamy part, but just that burnt sugar, that toasted sugar. It was really nice butterscotchy mouth. This for me is a lot of those candies, the. The caramels, the butterscotches, all that kind of good stuff. What I really like in a bourbon, the oak is definitely an undertone. Um, and the rye gets some in there, but it's really not a um, it's really not a pungent rye. There's not a lot of that really shoop, super spiciness or herbaceousness. Couple sips in now, really getting fairly a creamy mouthfeel. I kind of like it. This is actually really, really good. Um, it has, like I said, it's got a lot of those candies, those butterscotches, and so forth. <sighs> Oaky on the nose now, but not transferring to the palate. I'm not sure what the what the difference is, but I kind of like that dynamic. Now, I'm not one who normally likes a whole lot of corn just because it's a base grain that provides the sugar and a lot of sweetness to bourbon, whereas the wheat or the rye tends to provide a lot of that flavor and the rest of it you're pulling from the barrel. This one at 70, 20, 70 corn, 25% rye is a, usually what we see is a little high on the, on the corn side, but it's not tasting really like a corn liquor or anything like that. I would love to see this with some more age on it other than just four years. Get this to a six or an eight year. Okay. So, buy, bar, or pass. Well, considering these are pretty exclusive, it's gonna be pretty hard to buy them, um, at least at retail. You might be able to catch some out there on secondary, but I would get it. Um, I'm glad I have mine. I'm really glad I was able to pick it up. Um, I enjoy it, I like it a lot. Um, so I would definitely pick it up um, as, as a whole bottle. If you find it out there on a shelf somewhere and you can, um, and you can taste it at a bar, go for it. Don't go exorbitant on it. I mean, it is a four year, it is barrel proof, but it's 102, so it's respectable. It's right there around that, that bottled and bond um, type, of, type of category. But tastes very nice. I love all those candies and caramels and toffees and all that kind of stuff going on. Nice oaky nose after the first couple sips. I really like it, I enjoy it. So rabbit hole, great job. I like this, um, this high gold. Normally the Cave Hill, is my go-to when it comes to rabbit hole. And I really look forward to seeing this, this high gold with some more age. All right, y'all. Jeremy James, the Bourbon Realtor, on this Whiskey Wednesday at Barstools and Bourbon. We'll see you all next time.